If you're loading up on high-protein meals to lose weight or build muscle, stop. The risks nobody talks about might be quietly sabotaging your health, until it's too late. Hey everyone, today we're diving into the hidden dangers of eating too much protein. Yes, protein is essential for muscle growth, fat loss, and feeling full. But more isn't always better. Stick with me because by the end of this video, you'll know how to protect your kidneys, balance your hormones, and still get the right amount of protein for optimal health. Let's break it down. Over the last decade, the health industry has pushed high-protein diets like never before. Protein powders, bars, shakes, it's everywhere. The average gym-goer thinks more protein equals sign more gains. But here's the truth. Most people in developed countries already eat enough protein. According to the CDC, the average adult consumes nearly double the recommended daily amount. And when you overshoot your needs daily, it doesn't get stored as muscle. Instead, your body breaks it down, which leads us to... Too much protein equals more nitrogen waste products in your blood. Your kidneys have to work overtime to filter it out. That's why many high-protein eaters are often slightly dehydrated. Protein metabolism demands more water. While healthy kidneys can handle it short-term, long-term overconsumption has been linked to kidney stress, especially in people with undiagnosed issues like mild chronic kidney disease. A 2020 meta-analysis found that high-protein diets can worsen renal function in vulnerable individuals. Here's what they don't tell you at the gym. Excess animal protein, especially red and processed meat, can spike IGF-1, a hormone that promotes cell growth, and possibly cancer growth when elevated over time. At the same time, gut bacteria suffer. Too much protein, too little fiber, your gut microbiome becomes unbalanced, which may lead to bloating, constipation, and poor immunity. Solution, pair protein with plant-based fiber, always. Wait, isn't protein supposed to help with weight loss? Yes, in moderation. But remember, protein has calories, four per gram. If you're adding shakes, bars, and giant portions on top of your usual meals, your total calorie intake can spike without you realizing. That's how you gain weight, even while eating clean. A relatable example? That friend who meal preps grilled chicken and shakes every day, but still doesn't lose weight? They're probably overdoing the protein and calories. Myth. The more protein, the more muscle I gain. Truth. Your body has a ceiling. Most people only need 0.8 to 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, depending on activity level. Beyond that, it's just extra work for your body with little benefit. Plus, muscle gain depends on training, rest, and total diet, not just protein alone. Here's what we learned. Protein is essential, but too much can hurt your kidneys, gut, and waistline. Animal protein should be balanced with fiber-rich plant-based foods. Don't fall for the more is better trap. Track your intake and aim for quality, not excess. Hydrate, especially if you consume more than usual. And don't forget, the best diet is balanced, not extreme. If this opened your eyes about protein, do me a favor, smash that like button. Drop a comment, how much protein do you eat daily? And don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos that actually break down health science without the BS. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.